Well, my thought um, was uh, simply this. It's an analogy I like a lot in that living at the Abbey is a lot like um, being at the shore with the tide going in and the tide going out. That we, uh, just our life here, on one level it looks pretty much the same every day. Our schedule is basically the same. But I think the guests who have now been here for a few weeks know that no two days are alike. The schedule is not alike any two days in a row. You have to be kind of in the know to know what's happening next. Um, so even the appearance of solidity, the appearance of um, schedules and conformity is just a nice appearance. It's not at all what happens. And then also because of you know how we are and where we are, people come and people go. And people come and people go. And this Venerable Sompton tracks, I think, quite well. The rest of us really don't have much, I think, don't have much of a clue. <laughs> oh, there's new people here. Oh, where did that person go? They left yesterday. <laughs> she wants the microphone. She's going to protest. <laughs> it's not because she's not communicating. I do not want to imply this in any way, shape, or form. It is simply because the rest of us are doing what we're doing, and we're not paying a whole lot of attention to the fact that people come and people go. And so it's with, with great rejoicing, actually, that we welcome Venerable Sangye Kadro for a, a long visit here, and we're really happy to have you and all the guests that have been, have been coming. Um, and also, it's with some rejoicing and a little bit of sadness. I always have that when Venerable Children leaves. Just a little bit of like, oh, there she goes. Um, but, but it's just like the waves coming in, the waves going out. And sometimes the tide comes way in, and we'll get 40 or 45 people for a few days. Then the tide goes way out, and then it's just the community or even a partial group of the community for a period of time. But the, the practice, the exercise of living in a place where people come and people go so smoothly, so readily, teaches us a lot about um, living with the fact of impermanence that's so hard to get otherwise. You know, yes, we know every, every condition, phenomena is momentary, changing moment by moment by moment. It's very intellectual. But to see how the configuration of the community changes day to day, who's here at lunch and who's not, Who's here at breakfast and who's not? Who was here at breakfast, but they're not here at lunch now? Oh, where did they go? Will they be back in a few weeks? Oh, they'll be back in a few months. Oh, well, we won't know. We've, this person's gone back to Asia. We, <laughs> okay, things come, things go. And so it also teaches a lot about attachment to people. It helps us know when people go, when we're kind of tugging at our heart. What is that about? Or when people come and we get overjoyed and we're so happy to see them and then well, that doesn't last too long because then they become part of the regular scenery and, you know, how we are with each other. Some days happy, some days not. Some hours happy, some days not. Um, but I think that a great value of living in an environment like this is learning to adjust and adapt and get comfortable with the flexibility and with change. It's not that it's any more changing here than it is anywhere else in the world. But here, I think we have a mirror that shows us more vividly how painful it is to grasp. We're trying to th make things not change. And so today, as we send Venerable Children and Venerable Damchu off to uh, India for a short visit and uh, welcome all of our guests, whoever comes, we have many guests coming during the time that they're away. So our configuration will change again and again and again. And the longer we're here, the more we learn to relax our mind around this, the greater our peace and the greater our capacity to deal with the other major changes that come in our life. So let's rejoice in that opportunity and um, send Venerable Children out in a timely way and enjoy having lunch together.